Good evening and welcome to Abacus TV. We're here at the East Midlands Conference Centre for the Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire Chamber of Commerce annual dinner. And I'll be talking to Chamber members and guests to get their views on this week's all-important budget announcement and general overviews of the business community here in the East Midlands. So Ian, well yesterday was budget day and the yes. Chancellor described it as the budget for business growth. Would you agree with that? I think it is on the face of it. Um, there are a lot of good headlines. Um, uh, cap uh, the um, enterprise zones, um, uh, fuel, fuel duty escalator, a uh, number of other issues as well. I think the difficulty we've got is that we haven't seen the detail. And as always, the devil will be in the detail. So the headlines are good. Um, just let's hope that uh, uh, the, the, the detail is good as well. Um, and of course, inevitably, whilst uh, um, the, 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 the headlines uh, uh, make good reading, we've got to make sure that they actually carry out the actions that they say they're going to carry out. And how about here in the East Midlands? Do you think there's a general sense of optimism among the business community at the moment? Yes, definitely. I think we, we emerged out of the recession uh, a good 12 months or so ago now, uh, and we've got slow and steady progress uh, almost across all sectors, particularly manufacturing. Manufacturing is very strong at the moment. Um, retail is a bit stop-start, but it, it's moving in the right direction. I think 2011 uh, is going to be a difficult year. You know, It's certainly not going to be easy, but it's certainly going to move forward. Um, and and, you know, there's no one in the business community talking about double dips and things like that. I think there is a lot of optimism around uh, and uh, generally I think uh, uh, cautious optimism is probably the best word. Okay, and tonight is the Chamber's annual dinner and I believe yep. you've got around 400 guests here tonight. I think just over that. We're full anyway. Which oh is right, great. so uh, how important do you think events are like this for people in the East Midlands to come together and network? Tremendously important. Networking is what business is all about and this is an opportunity to uh, uh, catch up with old friends, see business business colleagues, acquaintances, uh, and the, the, the evening usually goes on well into the night, so uh, people enjoy it, they usually do anyway. Well, yesterday was budget day, and the, the Chancellor described it as the budget for business growth. Would you agree with that? There were certainly elements in the budget yesterday which I think business will find very interesting and of course what we've heard today is that we're going to get one of the first enterprise centres, uh, enterprise zones in the country and that's really good news for people in Nottingham. Okay and uh, 1p off fuel duty, a little bit of a surprise but do you really think it's going to make a difference to businesses in the East Midlands? I think recognising that the rising fuel costs is one of the biggest constraints that we've got on, on, on business growth at the moment. And it's not just the 1p off, but also the, if the previous government's uh, escalator had been in place, we'd have had a further 5p on top of the, uh, the cost. So actually it's a 6p off. Um, whether that'll make a difference, I'm not sure but it's certainly going in the right direction. It is of great concern. Fuel inflation at the moment is serious, and uh, if we don't manage to get that under control, that will actually stop business growth. Right, and the other good news is 40,000 more apprentices um, across the UK. Do you think apprenticeships are really important in, for growing businesses these days? Absolutely, they're fundamental. Um, we have to improve the training and the skills of our workforce and nearly every single company is, is saying that. Uh, the apprenticeship scheme is a really good one um, and we've demonstrated I think in the campaign that we've been running with the Nottingham Post um, and now we're starting with the Derbyshire Times and we're going to be doing it with the Mansfield Chad as well. That There real, is real appetite out there amongst um, businesses to take on more apprentices. We managed to uh, get at the launch earlier on this week in Chesterfield 35 pledges of new apprentices uh, on the day and we're hoping to get a further 70 odd uh, actually in the next uh, 100 days. Well when the, the Enterprise Zone was first announced we were absolutely delighted because our local enterprise partnership had come together very quickly. The four leaders of the uh, city and the county, uh, both Derbyshire and Nottingham, known as D2N2 actually, got together for our local enterprise partnership in about 20 minutes. And this is really going to put the icing on the cake for us. We're very excited about it. This is jobs for Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. This is real regeneration. And now we're just going to push for that final piece of infrastructure we want, which is the 453 Dooling. So, yes, it's a good day for us. So, Andrew, yesterday was Budget Day. What do you think are the implications for East Midlands businesses from the announcements we heard? Well, to be honest, Jane, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I think the Chancellor's come up with some great propositions. I mean, first and foremost is the Enterprise Zone here in Nottingham, and at Boots particularly, is going to be great for the region. And I particularly like the aspect of taking away all the red tapes, 
giving new entrepreneurs the opportunity of setting up a new business, I think that's fantastic. In addition to that, I think he's recognised issues with business, corporation tax rates, looking at reducing those, encouraging for manufacturing, particularly the investment in new plant and machinery. Manufacturing is very much the very heart of this economy. I think those along with the apprenticeship scheme, I mean Abacus has clearly been very much involved in the apprenticeship scheme now for many, many years and in fact we have continued to take on apprentices over the, uh, over the recession and I think that's been incredibly good for us and to, for this to be expanded further in the UK I think it's going to be excellent for business. Okay, and Abacus are sponsoring the event this evening, which is the Chamber's annual dinner. How important do you think it is that the business community gets together at events like this? I think it's vital. You can't beat events like this from the point of view of networking. There's a great opportunity, you invite guests, it's a very social occasion, uh, there's normally great speakers, very good food here at the East Midlands Conference Centre, and I think it's, it's an environment like this is conducive to developing new business, and it's great here to see DNCC with such a good profile in the region so I'm really looking tonight looking forward to tonight's event. Yes today I've been following David Cameron and Nick Clegg they've been up in Nottingham today at the boot site in Beeston and they were here one of the things they wanted to launch apart from confirming two new tram routes for Nottingham was enterprise zones zones to encourage new businesses to come in and one of the zones will be based at the boot site in Nottingham and it's to encourage new businesses by giving them business rate discounts uh, throwing in super fast broadband as well and also tearing up red tape to get through the planning regulations more so that's what I was asking him about. And news about the tram as well today? Yes, um, obviously the city has been waiting for confirmation as to whether the government would give the green light for the extra routes to Chilwell and also Clifford and today the government confirmed that yes it can go ahead and they are putting in 35 million pounds towards it of course the city council has to raise about 14 million pounds which contentiously could well be raised by the workplace parking levy and again I asked the Prime Minister about that as well but he effectively said well it's up to the city council how it raises the money. There seems to be quite a lot of optimism in the East Midlands at the moment do you think that's going to be on the increase? Yeah I mean I, I think people are, are you know there's a lot of fortitude in the East Midlands um, I believe I'm right, actually, that the East Midlands in the last unemployment figures bucked the trend and unemployment is coming down. And it's interesting that it seems to be an area targeted by the politicians. I mean, there's a lot of talk about the squeeze middle. We're right in the middle of the country. There are a lot of small and medium-sized businesses here, and they seem to come here and they test the water here. So uh, that, that's, that's, that's the impression I get. And, you know, David Cameron, Nick Clegg up here today, tomorrow, Ed Miliband brings the Shadow Cabinet up to Nottingham, so they're all coming here. So, Jeff, I understand you're a big supporter of Huddersfield Town. Do you think you're going to get promotion this year? Yes, I'm a very big supporter. I think we will get um, promotion this year. We have a very, very good uh, club chairman uh, and owner now. He's put some, uh, something like 70 million into the club, and we're full of hope for the future. Um, one thing that's happening in, in football now is that uh, it's looking like footballers' wages are going to be capped. Uh, clubs only being able to pay a percentage of their turnover, which I think is good for football and, and might bring some of these high and mighty championship and premier division footballers down to earth. Do you think that might spread to other clubs doing the same thing? Oh yes, yeah, it, it's going to be mandatory. So Jeff, but do you come to events like this very often? It's the first Chamber of Commerce I've ever been to. Uh, go to a lot of lighting events obviously. Uh, I'm a past chair of the Northern Region of Institution of Lighting Professionals. Uh, I'm also vice chair national of uh, our Contractors Association. So we get to a fair few uh, functions like this, very similar. Uh, I'm looking forward to the evening. So do you tie your own bow tie? No. <laughs> So Debbie, you're here as a guest of Abacus Lighting this evening. Do you attend many events like this? Um, some, yes, but uh, I think it's important to get people together and exchange ideas. Okay, so obviously there's quite a large business community across the East Midlands, so the fact that they all come together to have a chat and network is, is a good idea in your opinion? Yeah, I think it's very important to exchange ideas. Uh, this is how we learn and how we improve our service to uh, the, the people that we serve. So um, on a day-to-day -day basis, what does your job involve? 
So my job's all about going and talking to businesses around the East Midlands and asking them, is, is business growing? Are prices rising? How are you positioning yourself the, for the future? And the whole idea is to be a bit of a sanity check on the stories we pick up from down in head office, the kind of what, what our models tell us, and just do a sanity check with, okay, so does that fit what business is hearing? And I'll talk to around about 40 or 50 businesses in, a, in any one month. Um, Abacus has been one of the people that I've been to talk to in the past. Um, and I get a feed on, the state of, uh, on their views of the state of trade, and I'll feed those trends straight back down to head office. And that's the main part of the job. And do you attend many events such as this one? Oh, when I get invited, yes. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, this, 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 is, this is the perk of the job, isn't it? It's nice to meet friends talk, and talk, talk to them casually in the evening, away from the economics, if you like. Right. And networking is obviously an important part of your job as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, 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 if somebody doesn't know you, why are they going to want to talk to you? So I, I'm reliant on having 40 or 50 people who want to talk to me every month. And I get that by networking, just like everybody else does. Okay, Paul, so tell me a little bit about your role and what it entails. Okay, well, I'm uh, an international commercial manager for HSBC. I've uh, worked for HSBC for just over 30 years now. And um, HSBC now really uh, do see um, export uh, from the UK as a real um, potential business need for, for the country. It's a way we're going to get ourselves out of recession. Uh, we feel there's a lot of good quality businesses in the UK. They've got a lot to offer. And the products they produce are excellent and uh, often renowned worldwide. So what we're trying to do is support those businesses to expand around the world, uh, particularly into Asia, places like China, where there's a lot of business happening at the moment, a lot of growth as well. And uh, also places like Russia, where there's, uh, again, demand there for British products and uh, an expansion. OK, Amanda, so what are the hot topics that businesses are talking to you about just lately? I think a lot of people are talking to me about cautious optimism. So people are very optimistic about 2011, more so about 2012. They are worried to some extent, but I think banks are starting to lend again and uh, they're quite positive that they can move forward and there's going to be some growth, even if it's only at 1.7% as uh, the revision has uh, stated. It's been a fantastic week for Nottingham. We've seen Broadmarsh announce a £500 million extension. Today we've seen the Victoria Centre announce a £250 million extension. The Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister have been in Nottingham announcing a go-ahead for the tram, £500 million. What better news could you have?